on YouTube. Today I'll be doing a new a series for a game called Azure Lane. Hello guys and welcome to Azure Lane Meta. We're going to be discussing the update to the mobile game on November 14th, 2000. Yo guys, it's your boy Andre Nurgum the Cam from the game Azure Lane. Today I'm going to Azure Lane. This game means so much to so many yet it's only been around for 4 years. Today I'll be covering the entire history of Azure Lane, all the ups and downs, controversies and great achievements. But before that, we have to go back in time. It's the start of 2017. While you were most likely busy watching anime, I was trying to find where X was. It's right there. Dude, these mad questions are PC easy lad. But for you one, a well-known uploader to Billy Billy and with his five college friends, it was a busy year. As they began developing a second game called Azuru Lane. With the initial notion of creating a dungeon game if a commercial one is not possible. The developers aim to create something different from previous works of ship mo anthropomorphism, completely ditching the turn-based mechanic and going with shoot 'em up style mechanic. However, as there were no existing works to reference with, an early version of the game featured a combat system of five character fleet in a single or double column line of battle. This was of course later changed to six character fleet, the one we use in our modern day. As for artists, and voice actors, your star established contact with distinguished Japanese enterprises and creators and was met with a welcoming response. Tony, the artist of Centaur and Raiho, happily accepted the offer to design HMS Centaur, which was also his first work in a mobile game. For voice actors, many young voice actors, some critically acclaimed, lent their talents to the game. The decision to employ an old Japanese voice cast with a focus on younger actors was the result of lack of professional voice actors actors in China, as well as the team's intention to give younger Japanese actors opportunities to perform and oh boy did it work. The game's notable voice actors include Rie Takahashi, Amamiya Sora and Yui Hori. Might recognize these names. The game first launched in China in May of 2017 by Billy Billy. Shanghai Yosta later published the Japanese version in September of 2017. And let's just say the game launch was rather successful, especially in Japan where the player can't reach 5 million within 4 months after its release. It was so successful that Lee Hengda, president of Yosta Incorporation, did not expect the level of popularity the game experienced in Japan, believing that around 10 people would suffice. This? 10 people? Absolutely not. But there's even more positive news, as players voted the game among top 5 on Google's Play's Best Game of 2017 list for their region. The EN version was announced in June of 2018, and on May 20th, 2019, the English version was formally released along with the rollout of the 2019 UI overhaul. Around this time, Azure and ads were being put out a lot. Some are great, but then we have some, well let's just say not that perfect. Which led the game to become more popular and popular, with unique features such as hosting a ship, dome customization and of course, special touching. The game became so popular that Yostar licensed the Japanese company GR Spur to create virtual reality wedding ceremonies with the game's characters in August of 2018. But unfortunately, this was later cancelled as GR Spur did not meet its funding goal and was having communication difficulties with the voice actors and their agents. I reckon we would smash this now, especially with Pamir being the official 3D VTubing thing. But with every good streak has to have a bad streak. And they did. In 2018, an anime adaptation by Bibri Animation Studios was announced and started airing in October of 2019. This wasn't a problem for those who didn't play the game as it was just another game anime adaptation. But for us who played the game, especially the Japanese players, well let's just say we were confused. This is where the first Auslan Twitter cancellation came in, as the anime was being apparently anti-Japanese with Pearl Harbor and Hiroshima thing. In more bad news for the show, people also complained about the CGI usage and the storyline being boring. And even worse, due to Chinese law and regulations, some of the ship girls had to be censored 
Not that much, but it did hurt the game's growth a little. But you know what's worse than that? One of your voice actors getting in trouble. Ai Kayano, who made voice lines for Kaga, Atago, Renown, and Graf Zeppelin, was embroiled with controversy on Chinese social media as a result of her posting regarding a trip to Yasukuni Shrine. This got Yosta in a lot of trouble, but in response, her voice lines were removed from the Chinese servers. This includes other Yosta games as well, such as Ark Knights. However, the greatest lesson in life is that taking an L is never the end. Try again and again until that 1% becomes 100%. And so far, Yosta is going the right path with the community and the anime adaptation. The community Yosta has built is impressive. Veteran players willing to help new players, casual players making memes, and content creators working with each other. All of this with little to non-existent of toxic people is scarily impressive. You would think that when a faction gets a new event, the community would go on full ape mode. But instead, we get memes, enjoyable and helpful content, and most importantly, a community that is in 90% toxic. And with that, it brings us to the modern day, where players are still happy, except for our Navy fans, and your Star Manchu are still loving this game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire history of Azulen so far. Also, shout out to these people on the screen for becoming a membership of the channel. I'll see you in the next video.